At a large rally in Red Square, Vladimir Putin announced that four regions of Ukraine are now a part of Russia. He also made a new nuclear threat tonight, speaking about the United States and President Biden's response. Ian Panel is in Ukraine once more tonight for a rally in Red Square, where Vladimir Putin is receiving three cheers as he announces that four parts of Ukraine are now a part of Russia. Earlier, during a signing ceremony at the Kremlin, Putin referred to the West as wicked and blamed it for the conflict in Ukraine. Expressing nuclear warhead threats he claimed that by unleashing atomic bombs on Japan in 1945, America set a precedent. After signing the treaties with the four leaders of the occupied Ukrainian lands, we will intensify this war warning and defend our territory with all the forces and tools at our disposal. The crowd yelling Russia. However, the reality is that Russia's campaign in Ukraine, which targeted a humanitarian convoy, resulted in the deaths of at least 30 people, including two children and more than 80 hospitalizations. About 40 vehicles in the civilian convoy were traveling into the Russian-occupied territory to pick up and transport family members. One of the four regions is Paris. President Zelensky responded to Vladimir Putin's illegitimate takeover of territory by vowing to drive Russia out of Ukraine completely and formally applied for fast-track NATO membership. The U.S. announcing a fresh set of sanctions. President Biden warned Vladimir Putin directly and reiterated that the United States and its allies would never recognize Russia's land grab. The United States and its NATO allies are fully prepared to defend every inch of NATO territory, so Mr. Putin shouldn't misinterpret what I'm saying. Tonight, Ian Panel joins us from the Hawkeye Crane's second largest city in Lunn. Although I believe it won't immediately have an impact, keep in mind that Zelensky recently applied for fast-track status to join NATO. If that were to happen, which I believe is unlikely, then America theoretically could be drawn into this war because of events like that movement of those territories. President Biden has issued a strong warning to Putin that every inch of NATO will be defended. But what about these four regions and these territories claimed by Russia?